for some fabulous flavor. Welcome back to CBS 2 News at 9 a.m. The U.S. Open begins on August 28th, but the food and drinks are just as important as the tournament. So its signature event, Flavors of the Open, is back a week from tomorrow with a new lineup of all-star chefs ready to serve up a grand slam for your <laughs> taste buds. And joining us now is one of this year's new chefs, James Kent, executive chef at Crown Shy in Lower Manhattan. Great to see you. Good to see you also. So good to be here. Thank you. Now, what made you want to get involved this year? Uh, man, the U.S. Open is, is like a quintessential New York City event. And I'm a New Yorker. I'm born and raised here, lived here my whole life. And uh, to be a part of it is really special and humbling, and, and we're excited to be out there. I don't think people realize this thing pumps $750 million into the economy. Mm -hmm. So this is a great way to highlight you. How do you describe your culinary so style? I like to say that we do new New York cuisine, mm. which is basically New York is a melting pot, and the food that we do is pulled from all around the world. I don't want to be tied to one thing, so we can have a dish from India, and we make it work in the restaurant, or we can do something that's really local. Um, and we think about ingredients locally, but ideas globally. Ooh, That's oh, great. Smart. That's now you're good. going to be bringing some signature dishes to the event. Let's talk about what we have here. Yeah, so at Crown Shy, our signature dish, dish is uh, this spicy chicken. It's mm -hmm. citrusy, spicy. So we were like, how do we make that into a dish that you can serve to 110,000 people <laughs> each day? Yeah. And put it on a bun. <laughs> so here we have, uh, it's a chicken sandwich. Uh, it's a little bit spicy, citrusy. It has watermelon radish, has some jalapeno. And this is our signature dish, like I was saying. And then on the right-hand side, we have chopped cheese, which is a traditional New York City dish. Tell, now tell us, and I've heard it, but I don't exactly know what it is. Well, chopped cheese, is, I would say it's like a Philly, it's the New York version oh, of a Philly cheesesteak. Okay. And we do a short rib at Crown Shy, which is, again, one of our signature things. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing. Like, how do we get this thing? To so this eat? is great. But as I'm listening to you talk, part of this is the logistics. Because you've got to feed all of these people. Yes. You've got to mm -hmm. do it fast, and you've got to, like, it's got to be your signature yeah. as well, right? So how much did you have to modify? And We had to change everything, <laughs> and we've been working on it for the past two, three months wow. to make sure that, A, logistically we can get 15,000 sandwiches because, mm -hmm. you know, you sell 15 to 20,000 sandwiches wow. over the two weeks, just ordering and, and preparing and supplying all those things. Now, who are some of the other chefs that are going to be part of the event? Well, one of my old uh, cooks, uh, his name is Kwame Anwachu. He, he's the new rock star in New York City. He has a restaurant mm. called Tatiana. He has some food out there. And then there's like the traditional, like Alex Guarnaschelli has been doing it forever. Uh, Palafreda is doing stuff. Um, Italy has food out there. So there's like a core sample of New York City uh, chefs and food. Wow. And Th whatever. This, this is, is great. really good. This is different than this. Yeah. This is great. Now, this kind of got a little kick it's there. Got a, yeah, I was telling them, this is what do you spicy. Think? It's really oh, good. No. I'm not, I'm not, into, I'm not good. into spicy, but it's like mildly spicy, but it's really good. I can't deal with a lot of spice. I, yeah. I like the mild, tangy. Oh, this zippy, is it. Zippy kind this of is stuff. zippy and mild and tangy. <laughs> what are you most <laughs> looking forward to? What are you looking forward to? Um, just to be part of this iconic New York City thing, you know, like I went as a as, as a guest, mm -hmm. as a you know patron to see tennis and eat. Yeah, and you've been going for 15 years. Yeah. Now to be a part of it is really special. And like I said, I'm from New York. This is my home. If we're not a part of it, then it doesn't really feel right. Wow. Yeah. That's great. How can people get tickets? Uh, you can get tickets online. I went online to search myself. Mm -hmm. I got them for my wife and kids. They're coming. Uh, USTA, just Google. Uh, um, and we have the internet at our hands. You can find everything. You know, and about you, you have worked in many kitchens, but Crown Shy is your first solo project. What's it mean to be the guy? Man, <laughs> it's this full circle moment. So as a little kid, I was a graffiti artist, and I tagged, I tagged wow. the building. <laughs> and now I have a restaurant in it where we have Michelin stars <laughs> and the best bar in, in North America. So it's this amazing full circle moment of being a knucklehead kid, a New Yorker that just runs around the city and now found something that he loved. Wow. Worked really hard. 35 years later, I have this, these amazing restaurants. And you were also a singer. You went, he was saying he went to LaGuardia went High to LaGuardia, School right yeah, around right the corner. The what does he not do? This is like a lifetime <laughs> right? movie. I know. This would be great. But you don't want any graffiti artists to be tagging it now, right? Well, we have a Basquiat in the restaurant, so 
we went full circle. We went high low. <laughs> wow. Wow. So now you know you are going to be exhausted. This is going to be a grueling event yes. out there. I mean, it's, the numbers are pretty staggering when you look at the amount of food you're going to move. We, it's a lot of work, but we're not afraid of hard work. Restaurants are the most difficult industry, and we kind of run towards it thoughtfully and smartly. We have a team that's really great. We're prepared. Mise en place is a French term that, that is everything in its place. Mm. And it's how we think about restaurants. So everything is in its place to be successful. And we're going to go out there and have some fun. And they have me playing some tennis. Yeah, All right. Some pros. There's nothing pickleball about this. <laughs> Chef Ken, thank you so much for joining yeah, thanks us. Thanks for the treats, too. Thank you. So good to be here. And once again, Flavors of the Open is on Thursday, August 24th, 6 30 to 8 30 on the concourse level of Louis Armstrong Stadium. That's at the USTA Billie Jean King Tennis Center in Queens. We'll be right back.